The production of a motion picture can be difficult, demanding, and sometimes an unpleasant experience. I told you once, I told you a thousand times, under the window! The day-in, day-out problem-solving is bad enough in the controlled environment of a movie studio, but going on location brings with it insurmountable problems. If anything can go wrong, it will. And when nothing goes wrong, there are long hours spent just sitting and waiting. But what makes it all worthwhile is that movie making is the most glamorous profession in the world. Move the horse around. For actors George Siegel and Goldie Hawn and director Mel Frank working on location in Central City, Colorado, movie making is a childhood dream come true. It's a boy's dream to be here actually making a movie in a cowboy hat. My childhood fantasies, I wanted to be a secretary. <laughs> I did. And I'll tell you something about a movie set. Everybody's really happy to be there. I told you to shut up. I used to read comics when I got bored. That was fun as a kid. But now I make movies. George Siegel is known as a versatile actor, equally skilled at both comedy and drama. As the Dirtwater Fox, he is able to show off some of his lesser-known talents. Well, very few people really uh, know this, but George uh, Siegel is an excellent horseman. You know, he was raised on the East Coast, and he chased the foxes. And just, uh, we're all in awe at his ability to ride. George rides really well, really well. In Central Park, he's great. Now, he's a good writer. Writer? Yes, I am. I've written two novels, actually. Writer. Oh, writer. Yes, I am a very fine writer as well. I have incredible athletic abilities. My equestrian skills are unparalleled. Next to writing, I like music. Music as well is an important part of George Siegel's life. Yes, music is very important in my life. Goldie Hawn is the Duchess, a saloon girl with aspirations for a life that's a little more refined. I got class, I got style, I got talent. The Duchess is what she pretends to be. She dresses up and becomes a Duchess to be the governess of 16 Mormon children. And uh, <laughs> that doesn't last very long. Why? Uh, what is she really? Oh, she's a, she's a whore. <laughs> Something wrong with this driver. Nah, he's just taking a shortcut. Uh, my character in the Duchess and the Dirt Water Fox, or what I did last summer. He's a liar and a cheat, but very charming. Set in the Old West, The Duchess and the Dirtwater Fox is a comedy about two people who will use any means necessary to better themselves. How come you're so sure you're going to win? A cheat. Did you hear that, children? While in the pursuit of happiness, they themselves are pursued by representatives of both sides of the law. All right, play back. The scene is the first Orthodox Jewish wedding in Virginia City, Nevada. Escaping from the notorious Bloodworth gang and the law, Siegel and Hahn stumble into this happy historic occasion and get caught up in a traditional Jewish aura. George Siegel, who dances and sings as well as he rides, enjoys the admiration of cast and crew alike. George! George! Are you looking? No, he's looking. Now, come on, I can't talk about him now. Cool it, watch it. Don't turn the camera. Please don't turn the camera. Uh, oh, my God, are you in town? It's pandemonium time. All right, here comes the
about this time every afternoon, I get, I get a little adrenaline, and the crew seems to get my adrenaline. It's amazing. How much we did down the last two hours, hour and a half. Kaleidoscope Films wishes to thank director Mel Frank and the cast and crew of The Duchess and the Dirtwater Fox for this brief glimpse at the making of a motion picture comedy. Oh, you're on my way.